I'm really happy for LeBron because I know, and he's talked about how much it meant to him to pass MJ. So that that's great. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't More mean than just it the doesn't. More accomplishment, but passing yeah, Michael Jordan. That's his, that. that was his idol. Uh, it doesn't mean he's better than Michael Jordan any more than when Kobe passed MJ or Karl Malone passed him. It meant they were better. None of them are better than Michael Jordan. But what one thing I want to bring up with this LeBron, and a lot of people say he was a, he's a pass first guy. So for him to be in the top five, I push back against that. He score first. He might be pass one A, you know, pass one B. But he's a score. LeBron James is a scorer. Now, he doesn't want to go out there and get 35. He could have averaged more points if he so focused solely on scoring. But I would say he's a scorer, and then he's also a tremendous passer. I'd say it's 1A or 1B with the passing. But if you look at that top five list, only two of those players, this is a credit to LeBron's just ability but also mental toughness, two of those players, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar and LeBron James, were ballyhooed and hyped since they were teenagers. Yep. Mm. Michael Jordan was, you know, we know he wasn't this blue chip top 10 recruit when he went to North Carolina. Kobe Bryant was a great, you know, high school player, obviously, but the 13th pick in the draft. And Carl Malone went to Louisiana Tech. So to have, and, and Kareem did it obviously in a different era. To do what LeBron James has done and live up to the hype. That's tremendous. We've seen O.J. Mayo was hyped as a young kid. He never lived up to it. Remember yep. Demetrius Walker on the cover of Sports Illustrated at 14? Mm -hmm. Never lived up to it. So that type Sebastian of pressure. Selfair. Right, right. A I lot mean, of high school. People bring up LeBron being on the cover of Sports Illustrated as a high schooler. A bunch came after right, him. Right, right. Th listen, he's the most hyped prep athlete ever, and he exceeded the hype. The only, the, the, the only maybe athlete that I can think of that was hyped as much even at a younger age than LeBron is Tiger Woods. And Tiger Woods lived up to and exceeded the hype, yep. but then obviously had an awful, you know, downfall right. later in his career. To to do it, the, the scoring is unbelievable. And he is, well, even if you want to push back these pass first, of everyone on that list, he's the only one that is really pass anything. Like, the, the, he's the well, only Jordan, one. Jordan could pass. Absolutely, but it was never, no one would say he was, passing was 1A or 1B for him. Jordan is, Jordan was an excellent passer, and I actually think Kobe was a very good, a good passer as well. But it wasn't never part of what they were looking to do regularly up and down the court. But for LeBron to go through being famous, like you mentioned, as a teen, without any missteps, with the biggest public mistake he made was the decision. Right or the pep rally that came after the decision, which probably compounded the way he did the decision, is remarkable. To do it and the, to do what he's done on and off the court while sustaining this level of basketball excellence, 16 years in, 27, 9, and 8 for the season. Obviously, this season itself has been a major disappointment. And this season as a whole is a negative mark, probably legacy-wise, rather than a positive mark. But to get well, to this point... look at those numbers. <laughs> in, a, you, in a bad year, You right? look at those numbers <laughs> and you look at where everyone else was on the list when they got into the top five, where they were in their career. Like where, where Kobe was on his second to last season. Jordan, when he passed Wilt, he was a wizard, right? You know what? And so Kareem obviously is in a different category because he passed Wilton and played for another seven years, something like that. But all of it is unprecedented for any player in NBA history. Where, Brissot, where does this accomplishment rank of, among all the things that LeBron has accomplished in his life? I think, look, the greatest thing was the comeback from down 3-1 to Golden State. I mean, that, that was clearly the greatest thing. And yes. I also think, and then I saw you earlier, the championships, all the championships matter mm -hmm. more than this because this isn't the record. I mean, when he gets to number one, if he ever gets there, he'll certainly get to number two, I believe, then that will be a more significant. But I, I would say what he just did a couple weeks ago when he became the only player ever in the top ten in assists, top five scoring, that's much more significant than this because that speaks to the versatility of How LeBron well James. And one of the arguments, and I know uh, you, you obviously think he's the GOAT, Nick, one of the great arguments for LeBron in that is the longevity. Of course. And no one, I said it last year, no one ever in the history of the game has been in their 15th season the best player in the world. Whether he is this year or not, you know, I, I don't think he probably isn't anymore. But in your 15th year to be the best player in the world, no one has ever done that. So his longevity, these records speak to that too.
Yeah, LeBron, he is a tremendous basketball player. And however he wants to categorize it, how he grew up, I think it's very, very important that how you're raised and how you're taught something, that you're a reflection of that even become a star. He goes back to his first basketball coach, who was a father figure to him, taught him about it's more important to get others involved. Now, LeBron also had the skill set, but I'm like you. I don't think LeBron's a, a pass-first player. <laughs> He has the skill set of Magic Johnson, but also he has one of the unique abilities to be able to score the basketball like players we haven't seen. Also, size, weight, speed, and power, all right? He is able to utilize that, especially on the offensive end. So, phenomenal player, skill set like we've never seen before, the overall longevity how long he was able to stay in his prime, those are the things that you bring into the conversation as far as him and MJ. But when you grow up idolizing one person, it becomes very, very important as far as the numbers, if you can reach that number. So this is a very, very important milestone for LeBron. I can guarantee if you could pick one number that he could pass Jordan with, we know what number that'd be. Oh, the and that's right, the number right, right. that the people who think he's the greatest don't want to talk about. Because if you could put LeBron, if you could put truth serum in him and sit him down and be like, right. okay, you can have any of LeBron, uh, any of Jordan's numbers, which ones would it be? It will be them times he was holding up that trophy and the times he was the MVP. So, tremendous accomplishment. Also, his career, it's, it's, it's still not over with yet. Right. So, let me – that's what I want to ask you, Broussard, because I know for Chris what the standard is if he's going to come to my side of the equation on LeBron's the greatest player ever. Because you said it's championships, but Chris is funny championship math. He gave him two for the championship in Cleveland the, the, that time. Well, you have to because they beat one of the greatest teams right. ever. One and they, they came, and back, came back. Right, right. Came back greatest comeback in so NBA history. The point I'm making is for Chris, it, <clears throat> LeBron doesn't need six actual That's rings. one of the worst championship teams ever in NBA history, the Cavs with LeBron. The, from talent. In 2016? Yeah, I'm talking about a team. Like that team. They how many Kyrie teams? Kyrie and No, no, no. This, but how many teams could that team beat? Well, that listen, the argument for LeBron is... I think that was a great team. The, I, think, I think the 2016 Cavs and the Cavs the year that Kevin Durant first went to the Warriors, was that, that Cavs team was the best one, I thought. The, the one that lost in five Four to the Warriors. One. Yes, I thought that was the best Cavs team. I thought the, the level their offense was at in the postseason was unbelievable. It's neither here nor there. The, the reason that I can't just do the championship math one for one is because all championships aren't created equal. All competition is not created equal. And that is a team accomplishment. Now, in basketball, one player right, has more impact. impact on it than in any other sport. Yeah, especially but when I, you're first team all NBA, both sides, offense and defense. Ab right. Absolutely. I, and I the, think you want to know what would it take, for what you, would I have to see for, for you? What would you? I don't know that LeBron can pass Jordan. I just, I, I think it's not for me, it's not just six and six, you know, six rings to three rings. I think Jordan, Jordan had no weaknesses. You nitpick. When you're talking about guys this great, you're nitpicking. LeBron has a weakness, the foul shooting. I think Jordan was a better post player, even though he was smaller. He had a better post game in an era where you had seven-foot great centers. And, and Jordan had a better post game. I think Jordan was a slightly better finisher. Again, going against seven-foot shot blockers, the best era of big men ever. Mm -hmm. So I just think Jordan, I think he also could fit better into a system. He didn't become the system. He fit, he was able to fit, under Phil Jackson especially, fit into a system where LeBron kind of has to become the system. So I think I think that made him easier to play with. So I just think that Jordan was a flat-out better player. I can't think of so, a weakness. So that argument, while I disagree with it, that argument to me is so, so much more salient than the six versus three. Because, I I, because that argument is about who they are as a basketball player, what they were and weren't able to do. Because do I believe that if if you could do this, if you put Michael Jordan on it, it, throughout his career prime on every Cavs team and Heat team that LeBron's been on over the last eight seasons, I think he would have three championships. They wouldn't be the same three. I think he would have won the first three in Miami, and I don't think Jordan with that last Heat team or any of the Cavs teams would have won a title. And but I that's think, pure speculation. Course, we have to go on what happened. Well, okay, but, but hold on. What it's they all, did. But what you're saying is also a different type of speculation because what happened is LeBron's got him trumped in every stat. LeBron's got more points, more rebounds, more assists, higher field, what, more but percentage. That, they're not per game. 
What? Per game, per Jordan game, averaged he, three more points per, per game. game. Jordan's he hasn't, PER is higher. Per game, he hasn't trumped in everything except for per except for it, points. One more rebound. He's what three inches taller. He should average more rebound. One more rebound per game. Two more assists per game. Yes, and, career. Uh, absolutely. I mean, one more rebound when you're that much bigger. That's oh, not that. I, I could argue Jordan was as good or better a rebound. Okay, and so just it, for size. So, but all of that like is the speculation you were talking about. So you said PER. That is the advanced stat Jordan has. LeBron has value over replacement player. Box score plus minus when shares offensive and defensive the other element to it is that is un indefinable and it's just what you what you value is the longevity of it is how much if Le how much longer LeBron can keep this up and how much that matters in your eyes I would say at some point longevity can work against you Michael Jordan essentially we know he played Kareem. we know he played 15 years I would even say 11, like really the last a, two. In, yeah, he really mm -hmm. played 11, 11 years because he was two, two he was hurt, mm -hmm. or one he was hurt, one and then was one the he came back from baseball. And two right. in Washington. He won six rings in 11 years. At some point, LeBron has won three in 16. So at some point, the longevity can work against you in an argument where you're nitpicking. You know, it's, it doesn't have to be the longest career, but who got more done in their career? And Jordan, obviously, six rings and 11 rings in 11 years beats three and 16. So, or or, or 17 or 18. Well, no, I, listen, I don't, think, I don't think championships are the end-all, be-all of the discussion. I think if they were, then we would th say, we would talk more about Bill Russell. We would talk a lot less about Wilt. We'd talk less about Jerry West. We'd talk more about, like, I, I don't think championships Russell are the didn't whole dominate discussion. individually, statistically, the way Jordan did. No, Jordan dominated statistically yeah. and, and winning-wise. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from First Things First, or go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.